If you guys saw the packing video we did, you know I'm a big fan of wax cotton. I've got a Barber Ashby jacket, which I absolutely love. I've got an archival clothing rucksack, which is just absolutely amazing. I mean, wax cotton is just incredible stuff. It, it's, it's just, it's incredible for a number of reasons. It's, it's water resistant, it's very, very durable. It gets better with age. So when, when my girlfriend was looking for a new backpack, I, I told her like, yeah, just um, look out for one that's, that's wax cotton canvas. So after a little bit of Googling, she found a brand called Nordlicht and they said all of the right things. They said like wax cotton canvas for one thing, so thumbs up. They were also like sustainable, durable, good for the city, good for nature, blah, 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 blah. With a lot of lovely pictures alongside and yeah, it looked legit. She showed it to me and I was just like, yeah, give them a go. But that's where the problem started. So before we get into the waxing video, let me show you exactly why we actually have to wax this backpack. So this is going to be a very quick review on this Nordlicht backpack. It's going to be a very quick review because this is part of a longer video where I'm waxing. Now that's, that's waxing, not re-waxing this, this backpack. But I wanted to take you through like the details of this and just tell you like, in my opinion, this is a bad quality product for a number of reasons. One reason is, and the, I think the, the most annoying reason for me personally, is I feel this was missold. This was sold as being a wax cotton backpack. And I don't, in my experience, this is not, this is not wax cotton. And if it's seen any wax at all, it's really not very much. I mean, okay, it's floppy. That's, that's one thing that instantly gives it away. This is a wax cotton backpack is not floppy. The wax really, it penetrates into the fibers of the canvas and makes them much, much more stiff, as well as making it much more waterproof, it makes it much more stiff. But anyway, we'll get onto the wax cotton thing in a second. There's a few reasons that make this, like, even if it was made of wax cotton, there's a few things that make this just not a good investment at all. First thing, uh, hardware. The buckle here with the canvas strap the buckle is an incredibly, incredibly cheap stamped metal piece with pretty sharp edges. It's going to rub through this, this cotton strap pretty fast and it's not made in such a way that this can be easy, easily replaced. And that's, that's overall with this backpack. This is, is at a pr price point, a quality point where you're not meant to replace it, you're, re you're not meant to repair it, you're meant to replace it. And that goes totally against all of the blurb that they've got on their website about sustainability, durability, being in the outdoors, okay for the city. It goes totally against that. So that's the first thing, low quality hardware, lack of attention to detail. So it's got this roll top with a zipper up top. Zipper is okay quality, it runs pretty smooth, no problem with that. But the roll top is meant to add an extra layer of protection to the, the contents, making it a little bit more waterproof, but it just folds over once. And when it's full, when it's even a little bit full, this is still wide open. So water's gonna get in. What if it's gonna get in anyway, cause it's not waterproof in the slightest, cause I don't think it's why it's canvas. Uh, the, the, the pop snap here. Yeah, it's okay, it's magnetic, but it's again got sharp edges. This point here is a strain point, and I can already see that that is going to wear through and rip open pretty soon, actually. Overall construction, it's a couple of loose threads, nothing to really worry about. Uh, there's a zip pocket on the back, which I think should have had a longer flap, so this isn't actually gonna scratch your, your jacket. Um, that's, a, that's quite a particular thing, but it should, this part should go like further inside so it's not going to rub on any of your coats and wear through them. Uh, the straps themselves, these are too thin to be comfortable in any way. They're padded but the padding seems quite cheap and it's not actually fixed to the inside in, in any way at all. You can actually feel that the padding is moving over slightly so that's going to be, that is already useless and it's going to be pretty much useless very very soon. Um, <laughs> Okay, to the inside. The inside is something I've actually not got a problem with. It's got plenty of nice compartments. It's got 
decent space. It's lined. Lighting's maybe a little bit, a um, little bit light. Now it says, I don't know if it said that this one in particular has got a laptop compartment, uh, but it mentions that other ones do. There is a padded compartment in here. Padding is next to nothing. And it's actually not padded on the back where you'd want the protection for the laptop. Yeah, and it's tiny. I mean, I've got a medium sized MacBook. There's no way it would fit in there. That would be for a 13 inch MacBook maybe, or an iPad, something like this. But the, there's plenty of other storage pockets. Uh, there's not something useful like a key hanger or something, but I guess you put your keys in the front. Yeah. Okay, as I said, the main bug I have with this thing is that my girlfriend bought this bag because she thought it was gonna be wax canvas, so a little bit waterproof, which is good for Berlin. You need something that's gonna be a little bit water resistant, not waterproof. This is not, and I feel that that was missold. When I had a look at it, I told her that, yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't wax canvas. You should maybe write away to them. She did, and they completely ignored her. And by the time she, she had not heard back, it was too late to return it. Anyway, right, yeah, to this wax canvas thing. Okay, as I said, in my opinion, this is not wax canvas. On the website, on the actual page for this bag, it says material, wax canvas cloth, water repellent, lotus effect. Lotus effect is when you sprinkle water or something and it beads on top. I've got news for you guys. Um, the guys at Nordlicht, if you spill water in most fabrics that are a little bit tightly woven, you're gonna get the lotus effect. Sorry, it just is that way. But like I said, we are gonna test this out. So, we have here my old archival clothing backpack. Now, this is definitely a wax canvas um, backpack. It is about eight years old, as you can see, because it's messed up. And it's never been rewaxed. That's really on me. I should have definitely rewaxed it. So the water repellent capability of this is going to be significantly lower. This is a few months old, so it should be much, much better than that. And for a control, we've just got like a canvas tote bag that I picked up from somewhere. And here we have to simulate rain, some Berlin tap water. Look, it's, it's tap water, I promise. I'll drink it. And yeah, okay, we're gonna sprinkle some, some water on and we're gonna time it to see how long it takes to soak in. Stopwatch. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very fair to the Nordlicht. I'm gonna start with, with my, my archival clothing, then I'm gonna move on to the tote bag and then I'm gonna move on to that. Right, okay, so. Three, two, one, start. And then this one. And then the Nordlicht. Okay, yeah, that's quite extreme, but still. It's to prove a point. As you can see, that all has this like beading effect that you just get when you spill water on a tightly woven material. Yep, that's just sitting there as I'd expect. Here you can see a darkening a little bit of the, the canvas where it's soaking through. And yet here, that's after, I'll have to go back and see, but that's after just a few seconds, it's getting really dark and it's really soaking it up. And that, if this was wax Kelton, that should definitely, definitely not happen. Yeah, it's spreading out, it's bleeding out. You can even see the, the smaller splashes here. They've already like soaked in. That's just because this is quite a lot. This is hardly soaking in at all and that's not treated canvas in the slightest. And yeah, as I expected, that's just kind of sitting there. Yeah, it just is. And that will continue to sit there as well. Uh, we're at a minute 20 now. Yeah, this is soaking through. I can see that. It's already soaked through in the smaller pieces. Yeah, that's soaking through as well and spreading out a tiny little bit, but still not nearly as much as this. Mm. Yeah, I can, I can pretty much 
stop the test now because that's soaked through to the inside now. That's hardly soaked through at all. And this has not soaked through at all. Okay, yeah, so as I said, in my experience, and actually proven that this is, this is a not a wax cotton canvas material. It's just not. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's gone through to the inside. And if you've got anything in your bag, you just don't want that to happen. Not at all. Um, let me just, I'm sorry, honey, if this is messing up your bag. But other people should know. Okay, I'll just dry that off. That's not soaked through in the slightest. To be fair, it's, it's double-sided, but it didn't soak through at all. Um, this one. Yeah, a tiny little bit of a black mark, blemish. It's not soaked through to the other side, not at all. And on the main side, where is it? I can't even find it now. Yeah, you can hardly see that there was really even ever a mark there. So, ah, oh, this really, this is the kind of thing that really annoys me when somebody gets sold something that should be something and it's not. But anyway, all this to say, like, don't buy from this company. In, in my opinion, you're being sold a lemon. You're being sold something that's not what it says it is. So that concludes this review section of this particular vlog. If you are just here to see the video about the review of this Nordlich backpack and you want to see what to do about the wax canvas not actually being wax canvas and just being canvas and you want to see how to wax the canvas, then I'm going to put a link up in the corner somewhere to me actually waxing this non-waxed canvas. I'm getting really confused now. If you were here for just like the video about waxing this backpack, then just stay tuned because we're about to do it. And um, yeah, if you were here just for the backpack review, thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Matt Wilson, this has been CRD, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Okay, who's still there? Good, right, I see, let's get into this. Right, total transparency here. Uh, I've never done this before, so this isn't so much of a how-to video as let's see what happens video. Uh, I know I need a hair dryer. I don't need that because that's already wax canvas. Uh, don't need that because it doesn't need to be wax canvas. Uh, hopefully don't need that. Don't need this anymore. Do need the bag and do need the wax. Right, um, this is Falraven wax. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, first of all I wanted Otter wax because uh, it doesn't have any petroleum in it. But I found it ridiculously expensive to get over here and it got also incredibly hard to get over here. I could only get one variety, not the variety I wanted. So let's just try this. Um, also, I expected this to be... I expected it to be bigger. Which is nice that I'm the one that's seen that for, for once. Um, yeah, I, I, this is quite small. I don't know... I don't know how much this little block is going to do with this, but let's see. And as far as I understand, you just kind of like rub it on, melt it in with a hairdryer, and then you've got wax canvas. Well, let's see how this goes. Right, I'm going to start with the bottom part, because if I fuck this up, then, well, you're not really going to see the bottom part too much, I hope. Yeah, let's see. So, according to all the YouTube blurb, you just like put it in horizontal stripes across and then you melt it with the hairdryer. Oh, they did it a lot easier than that. Hmm, actually a little might go a long way. And then you're meant to spe spend a lot of time on the seams as well. Yeah, I can already feel this actually feeling like wax cotton, which helps. Hair dryer, it's gonna make a noise. Hmm. Gonna put another layer on this. Hmm. <sighs> 
See, the problem I'm finding here is that, I mean, okay, this is meant for like the G1000 fabric, which is very tightly woven. This is not tightly woven in the slightest. I just don't know if it's penetrating or not. I don't have enough experience to know that it's penetrating or not. And it might also not be hot enough. Should I try my iron? I don't want to fuck up my iron. I'm going to try my iron. Now, I will be the first to admit here that this might be a horrible idea that ends up in me having to buy a new iron, a new backpack for my girlfriend, and a new shower curtain, and possibly a new table. Now, steam off. Okay, that's very hot. I'm going to start on a lower heat. That's more like it. That's what I wanted to see. It's actually getting dark. Yeah, I'm a bit happy with that. Um, so yeah, note that the hair dryer technique doesn't get hot enough. Uh, they also mention um, the little heat guns. Um, I guess they're going to be too hot. Uh, I'd imagine that those would more likely strip the, uh, sorry, more likely um, set fire to the fabric. Let's not do that. Okay, you've seen the basic technique. I'm just going to continue exactly how I have been until the whole backpack is hopefully waxed. Cue the, the time lapse. Okay, that's that done. Took about 45 minutes, used most of the wax, but actually not as much as I thought I was going to. I had got two packs and I've only used most of the first one. Um, yeah, it goes much, much further than I thought, really. I mean, that was, the thing is that was completely waxless, in my opinion. It's completely waxless, so it took quite a lot of the, of the wax to really sort of penetrate all the way through the fibres, because it's, it's quite a loose weave canvas as well. And also, I think that, that this wax here was, was developed for the G1000, G2000. Anyway, the fabric that uh, Far Raven uses in their backpacks and, and all of their gear as well, this is quite thin, quite lightweight, but very, very tightly woven cotton fabric. So I imagine this is specifically developed for that, and maybe not so much for this. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the results. So I don't know how many coats of wax I actually did in the end on each piece, but I went panel by panel, and I did do more coats on the pieces that are going to be exposed to elements more. So like this piece, this piece I went over many, many times, this piece up at the top, Certainly up here because this sort of rolls down and clips in, so that's going to be exposed to elements. These side pieces as well. I only did this once over because I mean this is against against the back, and if you're getting hot and sweaty, I don't I don't think that the wax is really going to rub off onto your clothes. But I didn't see the necessity of over waxing this piece, and I didn't wax the shoulder straps at all for the same reason. Uh, and also, I wasn't too sure how far this was going to go. But yeah, this this little thing went way, way further than I thought. This this actually provides very good value for money. I think this was like 10 bucks. And just to top up your Falraven or whatever other wax cotton stuff you've got, I can say this would this would definitely do a wax cotton jacket, definitely do one of their bags, so I can only recommend that. This Nordlich bag, on the other hand, I definitely cannot recommend. Do not buy them. Um, fabric darkened down a little bit, um, but it's also got that, it's got that nice feeling of actually being a wax cotton canvas now. It feels like a little bit cooler to the touch, it feels like a little bit more crispy, not quite so floppy, it's got some, it's actually got some heft to it now, which I really, really like. Um, there's some darker spots here that there's just, there's a zip under here, more wax could build up, but that's just par for the course with, with wax cotton stuff. You know, you don't get this even factory finish if you're doing it at home. But the real test here is that, is it made it, or has it made it any more waterproof? And that I'm really curious about, because I don't know. Okay, so last time it soaked in within what, or soaked through within 30 seconds or so? Maybe, maybe longer than that, I don't know. But let's see about this time. Okay, I'll try and do this at the same time. Coordinate. Okay, so far it looks good. All the beads are sitting there nicely. Actually, it's quite pretty. 
Okay, I'm going to get this to the two minute mark. I'm going to speed it up now though. Okay, yeah, that's well over two minutes and it still looks really, really good. Um, it's just sitting there. It's doing, it's doing the proper, it's doing the Lotus Effect, but it's staying with the Lotus Effect. Ah. Okay, we'll just get rid of that. Okay, we can see like a small little dark spot here. Um, let's see if it's soaked through. Okay, don't need that anymore. Yeah. Not. Oh, okay. No single wet mark whatsoever. That is completely dry inside, which is how it should have been in the first place. Yeah, I'm impressed. Like, really, um, that worked way better than I was hoping it would, so I'm happy. Okay, I've not even started editing now, and I can tell this has been a really long one, so if you're still here, still listening to this, guys, thank you very much for staying tuned this long. Um, let's just have some quick conclusions to finish things off, right? In my opinion, do not buy anything from Nordlicht. Not worth it. Waxing is a very, very good solution. Waxing your canvas items is a very good solution to making them slightly more water resistant. In fact, a lot more water resistant if there's no wax in the first place. Uh, the foul wrap and wax goes way further than I ever thought it would. And I think this is a very good wax to use. Hair dryers aren't hot enough. You're going to ruin your iron if you use your iron, so use an old one. And guys, again, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for staying this long. All of the links to our social media and that other good stuff is down in the links below or the description below. And guys, please take care of yourselves. Please take care of each other. And I'm going to see you in the next vlog.